Hi, my name is Diego Vargas. And I'm Min Fang. And tonight we're here on State Street in front of the Arlington Theater where the Santa Barbara International Film Festival got to honor several individuals with the Variety Artisans Award. Um, so tonight I'm here with a local high school news organization. Oh, yeah. yeah, so I was wondering what, yeah, right a little setup. <laughs> so what goes in, or what do you do in your day, in your role on set? What do you do? Um, you mean work-wise or just? Work-wise, as the film editor for everything, everywhere, all at once. Um, on set, on set is kind of a, in quotes because I, I really work for my office, but I'll, I'll visit on set to show them rough cuts of scenes, things that I'm working on to make sure that, that they feel confident that what they've shot is enough in, in order for them to move on to the next scene or break down the set. Um, and then, you know, obviously I'm just editing the stuff together at the end of the day, trying to make sure that the movie's working. So, let me tell you, All Quiet on the Front was really captivating. It was an amazing movie. I was locked in the whole time. What do you think was the most challenging part in, in sound designing a, a war movie? Well, um, you know, of course you want to be authentic if you, if you think about a war movie. Um, but when you start to do research on World War I, um, we did that and we found out that there are hardly any sonic references about it. So being authentic is actually pretty difficult because um, you just don't know. So what we found out in the research um, or what we came across was um, were some letters that soldiers had written to their loved ones from the front line to their loved ones back home where they described how the battlefield sounded to them. And that became an inspiration for us how to, to tackle the, the whole sound world of the movie. Uh, Just did the costume for Elvis? Yes. Um, what inspired you to um, make the costumes, to come up with a costume? Well, it always starts with a story that Baz wants to tell. And in this instance, he wanted to tell the story of Elvis's life. But it, I think it became a much more universal story, a larger historical story, because um, it's the story of the conflict between two men, their embattled relationship against a sort of um, against the history, you know, the historical, the historical um, backdrop of America at the time. So, to me, it's always research first. Um, that's certainly something Baz insists upon. So that's how we start, just research, 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 to get into the middle of who that those people are in the show, who that person is. What was your favorite song that you composed? Oh, I think a really, I'm really proud of uh, the song, This Is A Life. Oh, it was nice. the end credit song for the movie. I really, I'm really happy about that one. Oh. I wrote it with uh, a new friend of mine, David Byrne, and someone named Mitski. We wrote it all together, and I think we, we did a good job. Cool. I am Lily Nixon, and here with me today is Eric Sayden, who is the visual effect supervisor of the film Avatar, The Way of Water. What was your favorite kind of visual effect? Um, my favorite is the performance cap, the capturing the emotion from the characters. Like, there's a scene at the end of Avatar, um, and I won't give any spoilers because there's, there's probably three or four people that haven't seen the movie. Um, but at the end, all the family's out on, a, out on the rock, and Zoe is giving a great, huge performance, and, and everyone is giving this, this great performance. Um, Sam Worthington is very stoic, um, and it's just this great performance of everybody. And, Seeing that performance on the CG characters really was amazing for me to, to have people feel for it and uh, go see it for the first time with an audience and have people actually see people crying in the audience was, um, was pretty amazing. Yeah. Reporting from the Arlington Theater, I'm Diego Vargas. And I'm Min Fang. For DP News.